Well, the high school schedule featuring the dreaded three game week for many teams in the state. A mid season grind with teams hoping to get off to a good start tonight. We pick up the action between Wyndham and South Portman in the second quarter. A big run for Wyndham. Nick Curtis, the hesitation crossover. He had 21. Then it's Andrew Wing on the wing. Eagles go on a 16 2 run and go up 13, but the Red Riots come back. Connor Buckley. The drive, the pull up. Buckley had 15 for South Portland as they get back in it and they own the second half. Riley Hassan driving, finds Noah Malone who had 18. 72 63, South Portland the victory. They're 7 1 at Portland on Thursday. Deering trying to snap a two game losing streak, hosting Scarborough. End of the first. Scarborough's Nick Fiorillo between the legs and finishes just before the buzzer. Other way, Nisconi Bashiri, the handoff to the hoop. Deering grabs the lead in the second. Then Ricky Despacho, the rebound, the put back inside. Deering extends the lead, but they went back and forth in this one. Fiorilli had 23 points, 12 boards, the nice floater here. 58-53, Scarborough wins it in OT, their fifth straight win. To South Paris, double A North game. Oxford Hills hosting Lewiston. Third quarter, Garrett Record takes it to the hoop and the nice finish. Oxford Hills up 28. Then Will Dietrich, triple team, so he gives it to Jacob Ajay for two. 66-33, the Vikings victorious tonight. Great finish between rivals Bitterford and Thornton tonight. Thornton up two, late, in overtime. Kyle Norton, nowhere to go, gives it back to Jerome Criado for three, and the Tigers take the lead. Other way, Thornton a chance for the lead, but it is no good, so they need to foul. Criado hits a couple free throws, Thornton still a chance. To tie it up off the back of the rim, no good, and Bitterford holds on another fantastic finish for the Tigers this year, 56-53. They beat Thornton. Top two teams in A South heel points, Greeley and York in Cumberland. Second quarter, Greeley's defense making offense. Jack Kane, the rejection. Shane DeWolf leads the break to Zach Brown. He had 25 in the third. Greeley's defense added again. Brown, another steal. Greeley outscored York 27 to 1 in the third. Again, more Greeley defense. Brown, another steal. Greeley led by 41 at one point and cruises 77 41. They're 8 0. 30 straight wins for Greeley. Kanebunk hosting Marshwood. Late in the third quarter. Maxwell Murray. Open, takes it, makes it. Game tied. Other way, Kyle Williams for three. The Hawks take the lead back. Then in the closing seconds of the quarter, Ian Bryant. From downtown, you break it, you buy it. Off glass, Marshall up five. But Kenny Bunk would rally. Zach Sullivan to trip Bush. 61-57, Kenny Bunk is hot, they're six and two. More A South boys, Westbrook at Falmouth tonight. First quarter, Jack Bryant driving and delivering to Brady Douglas. We got a 10-10 game early on for the Blue Blazes. Landon Soberg, the great seal, and Zach Minujan finishes at the hole, he had 10. For Falmouth, Alex Marcotte drives some indecision, then the decision buries it. Then a floor burn special. Sam Meganello makes the play and from his back passes to Bryant who finds Douglas for the easy two. 46-38, Falmouth the win at home. All right, Class B South battle between two of the top players around, Finn Bovey and Nolan Haggerty. Capers and Clippers tonight. 32-32 to start the fourth. Bovey, the three for Cape, they have a lead. For Yarmouth, Aiden Hickey going one on four, pulls the Clippers within 35-34. The three ball, though, the difference in this one. Tanner Carpenter to Liam Jacobson. Cape goes up five late. Then Carpenter seals it with the three. Cape Elizabeth 48-44 over Yarmouth. The Capers haven't lost since opening night. All right, let's go way up north. Lincoln taking on two-dime defending champion George Stevens. Lincoln 6-1, and one, George Stevens 7-1. and one. Taylor Shildroth knocks down the three. GSA opened on a 13-0 run, and they would roll in this one 73-46. They are on fire. All right, after having a 47-game win streak snapped last week, the Gorham girls went to Chevers tonight in an unfamiliar position of owning a losing streak, albeit just two games. Gorham and Chevers this evening. Gorham's Mackenzie Holmes, not the first time she's been triple teamed, and she gets it inside to Courtney Brent. The basket. Other way, Chevers swings it around. Abby Cavallero for three. She had a big game. Started the game with Chevers' first eight points. Ended up with 14. Chevers takes it 52-50. Meg Kelly with 15 for the Stags. Deering at Scarborough tonight. Delaney Haynes is a one-woman show off the inbounds. The floater for the Rams. Then working off the dribble, she accounted for 24 of Deering's 37 points. Red Storm though cruising. Julia Freeman working baseline. They're up 13 in the third. 
And Madison Blanche in transition for 353-37 Scarborough to win over the Rams. Southern A, York hosting Greeley. Second quarter, Brooke Obar kicking it out to Emma Sperry in Greeley has a seven-point lead. York goes on a run, though. Delaney Labonte, she's given the lane, then kicks it out to Jackie Tabora. Then Julia Babcock drains the three. We're tied 19 early on. The other way, though, Anna DeWolf. She had 21. Rangers rally from down four in the final 12 seconds. 56-55, Greeley is 7-2. Unbeaten Marshwood hosting Kenny Bunk tonight. Hawks with a balanced effort like they have every night. Noelle Barrett kicks it out to Natalie Herbold for the three. Then off the inbounds play, Alicia Richards, the three from the corner. This team can shoot. Then Alora Montgomery, she's open for three. Hawks make eight threes, win at 56-30. Marshwood is 9-0. All right, get your popcorn ready. Freeport and Poland entering the night 2-3 in the B-South heel points. First quarter, Freeport's Alex Goodman behind the back. And the finish, that'll get you in the highlights. In transition, Caroline Smith, she's a sophomore and a captain, pulls up, gets the roll. She led the way with 27 for, for, uh, for Freeport. Goodman also making an impact on the glass. Follows up the hoop. She had 10 in the first quarter. 54-42, Freeport wins. They're 6-1. Our key matchup in B South Wells hosting Lake Region. Third quarter, Megan Schneider inside the hoop and the foul. Warriors up five. But Lake Region went to the line and made their free throws. They didn't have a field goal in the whole third quarter. Lauren Jacobs, Chandler True keeping them in the game, and they rally to win it 33 30. Lake Region and OT, they're 7 and 2. Defending B champ Grain of Gloucester hosting Freiburg tonight. First quarter, Jordan Grant working the low post for the Patriots. She gets the lay in. Then it's the other Jordan, Brianna Jordan, splitting the defenders for two. A little bit later, Jordan does it again. 68-34, Grain of Gloucester the win. They've caught fire. They're 6-2. and two. All right, Wayne Fleet hosting Socopee Valley. LZ only off the glass for three. Hey, you got to call it. Flyers open the game on an 11-0 run. Then Liddy Jaguar pulls up, fills it up. Wayne Fleet takes it 55-28. to 28. That right there is your hoop safe. Watch it again on WMTW.com if you want. Stephen Baker.